Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a god statue. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button and that'll make sure that you keep up to date with all of the things that I'm going to be building in the future. Ring ring. But without any further ado, let's get started. So, before we start building, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using. We need brown concrete, white terracotta, white concrete, yellow concrete, yellow terracotta, light grey terracotta, light grey concrete, and finally some green concrete as well. Please make sure that you have all of these and plenty of them as well. Once you have all of them, we can get started. So, the first thing that I want you to do as we begin to build our statue is place a row of eight brown concrete in a row on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On top of this row, going from left to right, place two white terracotta, one, two, a brown concrete, two white terracottas, a brown concrete, and two white terracottas. Going on top of this row, I want you to place 10 total rows of white concrete, which will look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And of course, we have to make all of those rows the exact same height. So we have to have 10 solid rows of white concrete directly on top of God's feet. So eventually, we'll have something which should look exactly like that. We then want to place an entire row of yellow terracotta on top of those 10 rows, followed by a row of yellow concrete. For the next row, I want you to place an entire row of white concrete. Then for the next row, left to right, place two white terracotta, a light grey terracotta, then make the rest of the row white concrete. Then for the next row, going from left to right, place two white terracotta, a light grey terracotta, white terracotta, and make the rest of the row white concrete. Add another row on top of that that is exactly the same. Then for the next row, going from left to right, place three white terracotta, two light grey terracotta, and then three white terracotta. For the next row, place three light grey terracotta, one, two, three, two white terracotta, and then three white concrete. For the next row, going from left to right, place a light grey terracotta, two white terracotta, two light grey terracottas, a white terracotta, and then two yellow concrete. For the next row, place a light grey terracotta, and then five white, one, two, three, four, five, and then two yellow concrete. For the next row, place a light grey terracotta, two white terracotta, two light grey terracotta, a white terracotta, and two white concrete. And for the final row, I want you to place two white terracotta, one light grey terracotta, two white, light grey and two white to give you this shape right here. What we are now going to do is extend this shape left and right at the top by four using white terracotta. One, two, three, four. Now we want to build the arms. So once you have a row of four white terracotta, I want you to place eight rows underneath it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Underneath that, place a row of yellow concrete. Underneath that, place a row of yellow terracotta. And underneath that, place a row of white terracotta. Notice how I said rows, meaning we have to extend every single one of these blocks out to the right by three rows. So all of the yellow concrete, all of the yellow terracotta, and all of the white terracotta as well want to be extended outwards like this. And once you've done that on that side of the statue, we want to do the same thing on this opposite side. So we want to take the top of the statue and extend it left by four rows using white terracotta. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to place eight rows underneath it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then a row of yellow concrete, yellow terracotta, white terracotta. And I said rows again because all of these want to be four rows wide. So once you've added it on top of that first row, add the three, four rows thick. And you'll get yourself something which should look exactly like that. What we now want to do is flip over to the back of the statue. And on the back of the statue, we are going to start adding some of the back details. So first of all, we're going to take the very bottom of the feet and add three rows of brown concrete coming out of the back of the bottom of the feet. One row of brown, two rows of brown, three rows of brown. Add a row of brown on top of that back row of brown. Add ten rows of white concrete on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, fill all of those in evenly. We are looking to pretty much copy the front in the terms of the white concrete that we're now placing and also the yellow concrete slash yellow terracotta sash that is placed at the top of the leg. So once you've done all of those white concretes, I want you to, on top of this, place a row of yellow terracotta, on top of that a row of yellow concrete, on top of that a row of white concrete like this, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty good. But what I want you to now do, and this will make things easier, you see the white concrete on the front of the statue and the rest of the yellow concrete. I want you to copy that onto the back. So the rows of white concrete and yellow concrete, just copy the exact same shape that you have on the back, and that will do a huge amount for us, because once you've done that, we're going to make the rest of this layer here, all of these rows, these are all going to be white terracotta. And then you can copy the front of the arm onto the back of the arm. So, meaning, once you have this, kind of looks like a broken egg of some sort, you want to make the back of the arms look exactly like the front. So you can literally, block for block, copy the front of the arm directly onto the back like this, including all of the yellow concrete, the yellow terracotta, and then the white terracotta as well. I'm going to extend these across, and also the white terracottas too. And the side of the arm, and as a matter of fact, the sides of the statue will look very similar as well. But once you've done one side, you can come over to the opposite side, and there's no particular order or set of rules that you have to follow to complete this. As long as the, you know, the back ends up looking like the front and the front like the back, then there really isn't too much of a problem whatsoever. So, I'm going to raise all of these up, and here, and here like this. Now, once you have completed the back of the statue, we are going to come onto the sides, and the sides are very, very easy. So first of all, right at the bottom, I want you to place a row of white terracotta, so following forwards, front to back like that. Place white concrete coming up the side of the legs, coming up as high as the bottom of the hands. Fill the bottom of the hands in using white terracotta like this. And then the, I don't even know, wristbands, whatever these are, connect them together using yellow terracotta and then yellow concrete on top. They follow around. And then white terracotta coming up to the top of the arms like this. And then I want you to fill at the top of the arms, I want you to come in with one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And that's all you have to do for the side of the statue. And you can do this on both sides, by the way. So on this side, white terracotta like this white concrete on top coming up to the bottom of the hands like so and then you connect the bottom of the hands together using white terracotta like you might imagine and then yellow terracotta on top yellow concrete on top of that white terracotta coming up to the top of the arms and we'll also add a little bit of white terracotta three rows in total to the top of the shoulder like that and all in all you will have a pretty nicely completed body of a god now, once you have completed that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do the head. The head's very simple. Come to the front of the statue, and you want to locate the eight original blocks for the top of the statue. So, basically, these ones here, not including the arms. And on top of these blocks, I want you to place a row of white concrete to start off with. It should be eight blocks wide. And then place two rows in front of it. So, one, two. 
Going from left to right on top of this row, place three white concrete. One, two, three. Two light grey terracotta, and then three white concrete. Going from left to right on top of this, place two white terracotta, four white concrete, two white terracotta. Place an entire row of white terracotta on top. Going from left to right, place a white terracotta, two white concrete, two white terracotta, two white concrete, white terracotta. Going from left to right on top of this, I want you to place a green concrete, two light grey concrete, two white concrete, two light grey concrete, and a green concrete. Going from left to right on top of this, place two green concrete, one white concrete, two white terracotta, one white concrete, two green concrete. Place an entire row of white concrete directly on top, like this. Then I want you to come to the top of the head and place seven rows of white concrete coming out of the back of the top of the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you want to make sure that all of those rows of white are of course extending backwards in the exact same way. So extend them back, like this. And then we want to extend them down. So we're going to extend down this seventh row at the back of the head. And we're going to connect it to the front of the statue at the bottom of the face. So where the bottom of the face is, where we have this row of white concrete, I'm going to recommend that you kind of extend them back in tandem. Meaning do a little, do a little of one, do a little of the other, and then they'll eventually join in a box like that. And we're going to connect the right and left sides together using white concrete also, like this. So here. And then on this side too, of course. And once we've completed this, I mean, we'll kind of sort of be done. I mean, there's, there's not anything left to add, really. So once you've done that, you will have a nice, fully completed god statue and just before we wrap this up i feel as though that i should give you guys a quick little tour i always like to give you guys a nice little 360 around the statue once it has been completed just to make sure that i haven't made any mistakes and just to also let you guys know what the statue should of course look like once it's been 100 percent fully completed so hopefully we're both looking at roughly the same thing on our screens in including the hacker too. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you want to keep up to date with the channel, then please subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you all must have sent directly to your sub box. Ring, ring. Also, not only that, if you want to suggest more statues, feel free to, but if you want to make any of my previous statues, then check out the card system and the description below, maybe even the top description as well, depending how I'm feeling, for the statue tutorial builds playlist. It's going to get bigger, and depending on when you're watching this video, it might be massive. We'll have to see. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate all you very, very much. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.